Hey YouTube, Carly here. Welcome to the vlog. This is the channel where we talk about sneakers, life, and tech. And for this episode, I have a special treat for you guys. For this episode, we're actually going to talk to a Filipino sneaker designer here in the Philippines. So what he does professionally is he actually goes out to design sneakers that are sold here in the Philippines. So we're going to talk to somebody who actually works for a brand called World Balance. It is a local brand and he will be sharing with us his design process, how he got into sneaker design, what his plans for the future are, and then we'll probably you know, wrap up the video by me talking about the actual sneaker that he recently designed. We will unbox it. We will do a quick review on it. And yeah, so you guys are in for a special treat for this episode. Let's go. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so because now that we've hit 100k subscribers, we are raffling away the Supreme Body Bag. All you have to do is to subscribe to the channel, follow me on IG, hit the notification bell, and hit the link down below for the rest of the mechanics. Go! Hey YouTube, Carl here. Welcome to the vlog. For this episode, we're going to talk to a local Filipino sneaker designer because usually when you think about sneaker designers, you do not think Filipino. You think of international sneaker designers. But guess what? There is a potential career for you here. You can actually build your craft and be able to do that. So for today, we're going to talk to Joshua Bernardo. He is one of the designers over at World Balance. So what's up? Let's go. Boom. What's up? Okay. Pakilala ka naman, parts. I'm Joshua Bernardo and I'm a design, uh, sneaker designer from World Balance. And I'm going to show you my design. Sick. Uh, this one. So what do you call this shoe? This one is called Metropolis. It's a black on black colorway. And what's the inspiration behind it when you thought about it? Uh, basically, it's uh, soft, soft like sneakers, but with a little more function. Yes. No? Uh, because it, for this one, I added uh, a hot melt PP on the side to give more structure to the soft sneaker and strap TPU strap. So, nakalock lang yung in place yung paa and heel counter, syempre. Para to give it more support. stability. Yeah. And, and you know what? Just just on that point, I I was able to try on kasi the Balenciaga. Balenciaga. Tatama <laughs> naman ako sa picture. Yung Balenciaga Speed Trainers. Uh, ang problema sa mga yun, they're really, they shift around. Mm -hmm. As in super, hindi siya stable. As in magalaw siya. Kasi da, it is suck. Diba? So, there's, there's a lack of structure. So, this one, that you guys see here has all of those additional elements that make it that give it a little more utility and structure which were the weaknesses of the Balenciaga speed trainers and apart from that syempre yung Balenciaga magkano ba yun? wasak <laughs> okay so baka pwede mo may pinakita ka sa akin kanina yung prototype ito yung initial prototype niya yung uh, without the strap and the uh, heel support sweet, uh, sweet lang siya dati then yung ang issue ko with this one is since I had a white foot, pag hindi sakto yung size mo or ano, may nagkakaroon siya ng space. So that's where this uh, side panel comes for to give structure din para sa mga paa nating mga yeah. wide foot. <laughs> okay, so part siguro. So so guys, if if you guys uh, want to get a pair of this it's available already at World Balance stores. I'll actually do a more, and that's my cat. I'll do an unboxing and a more formal review uh, in the coming days ahead. So watch out for that one. Pero usap muna tayo more with Joshua and my really cute makulit cat. So Joshua, I'm sure a lot of people are interested how you became like a sneaker designer. So baka you can talk talk to us about what was the inspiration behind it and where you actually learned the craft. So uh, I got into sneaker designing uh, back when I was in college, uh, I took Bachelor of Fine Arts, major in industrial design from University of Santo Tomas. I also took footwear making classes from PFFI, Philippine Footwear Federation Inc. Uh, but before that, since high school, I, know, I used to skate, so the first shoes that I really liked was Vans. Vans. Vans talaga. Kapag sabi mo skateboarding, automatic Vans, Vans talaga. Wala na yung event, Vans. From Vans, actually na siya, DC. Then ES, Supras, then yun. 
Tapos nung when I got into college, dun na uh, Jordans. Jordans naman yung uso uh-huh. na. So yun, I started with collecting na nun, nung college. Then when I was in third year, uh, we had a project. We did uh, was uh, cross training shoes. Uh, this, uh, we were asked to, ano, eh, to follow a brand. So mine was Nike. So from there, I was able to know more about sneakers, the process behind it. Uh, from sketches, I did my own prototype. Since ako taga Marikina ako, uh, yung sa mga local shoemakers don, uh, they helped me in. Uh, sa ba ako from sa mga materials I used, I was able to get it from Otto. Because they, <laughs> ano, they also sa patos kyo ng grade school ako. They also ano, sell uh, swatches and materials don sa ano nila sa office nila don. So you were able to buy the materials there. Oh, okay. So I sabi natin if somebody wants to be a sneaker designer here in the Philippines, more or less yun yung parang track na kailangan nilang gawin, no? It's the closest thing to to sneaker design is product design which is yun, industrial design. So that's what you learned in college, college. stuff like that. Parts, thank you. Appreciate it. You, Boom. Tingnan niyo yung sapatos niyo. What's up? And we're back. So let's get to the unboxing. So as you guys can see here, this is called the Metropolis. And it does come in your typical World Balance black box. It says there's street, casual, World Balance, and then the logo. You have the rest of the information of the sneaker here. It says there's Metropolis, size 12, Euro 45. And it says there that this is part of their street casual collection. So if you pop open the box, you get to the sneaker immediately. This is what the sneaker looks like. It is like a sock-like construction with that strap in the middle and it does have that reinforcement along the side as well as the toe box. It has a very great cushioning system. I think they're calling it, <coughs> excuse me, the trampolite. So that's the midsole that you guys see here and then you have the outsole, some sort of like thick rubber outsole here at the bottom. As you can see, it's obviously all black with shades of gray which gives it a very hip vibe compared to your traditional like dull black color and i do love the addition of the strap with the velcro so it does actually help with the containment of your foot now how is this sneaker on feet i'll tell you right now for 2000 pesos it's a great it's a great buy because in terms of overall cushioning in terms of overall comfort you do get more than what you are paying for with this particular shoe. Do I recommend the World Balance Metropolis? If you ask me, if you are on a tight budget, and if you are just looking for an everyday shoe to beat up, then yeah, it makes sense. It's less than 2,000 pesos. You get excellent comfort. The overall design is pretty good. It's pretty stylish considering the amount that you guys paid for it. So yeah, there's no going around the fact that this is a pretty decent, well-designed shoe. So congratulations again to World Balance for shipping this. I hope you guys sell a lot so you can give more opportunities to local designers and local businesses and local people, you know, Filipinos who just want to get into the sneaker game. Having said that, I hope that you guys also come up with a more premium line, kind of like what Fila is doing with their Fila Italia lineup here in the Philippines. As, we, as most of you guys know, Fila is not the most premium brand here in the Philippines. But recently, they've been trying as hard as they can to be able to level up so maybe that's one of the things that the World Balance guys can think about. How can they come up with a premium line of sneakers and then open the doors for more Filipino, you know, sneaker designers, aspiring sneaker designers to be able to have a chance at working for them and coming out with work that they are extremely happy about and extremely proud of. So that's it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoy. Please do make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, follow me on Instagram. Hope you guys are all having a good week. Peace, what's up, boom!